Hey y'all, it's Jenny, and I thought, why not make a meal out of just leftovers and staples that I have in the fridge? So this isn't as much of a recipe as it is inspiration. So um, I'm going to start with some veggie stock, because that's something I always have on hand. And to that veggie stock, I'm going to add some miso paste, and I'm going to add about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. I was just kind of winging it here. Um, I really love the flavor that miso gives food. Um, so I'm not shy with it, but if you don't love that umami flavor as much, add a little bit less or don't add it at all. The veggie stock has plenty of flavor, so I'm just going to go ahead and simmer that and get it out of the way. Now I have some water that's simmering, and to that water I'm going to add some udon noodles. And I usually have some sort of noodles, either dry or fresh, in my fridge. And uh, those cooked for about two minutes. And now in that same water, I'm going to blanch some Chinese broccoli. And, you know, you could totally use spinach if you want or kale. But I had these guys, and I'm blanching it in that same udon noodle water because I don't like dirtying up extra pans. Less cleanup. So I move those out of the way, move that pan. And now I'm going to grab that broth. And I've added some mushrooms and some fried tofu that I had made for a wrap earlier. And now I'm, those noodles are ready to be covered and drenched, submerged in that delicious broth. So I'm just going to go ahead and be generous. And it thinks it needs a little bit more broth because I like it it's really brothy, guys. Yeah, that's about right. But with yours, you can use less if you'd like. You're the boss. I'm just here for inspiration. So I'm going to take the slightly wilted... Chinese broccoli and I'm just going to put them on top and next I'm going to take some maitake mushrooms um, and I'm going to throw those into the mix and those got steamed accidentally with the Chinese broccoli don't do that because it makes the maitakes kind of tough they're better raw so next I'm just going to add um, some raw uh, white onion some green onion and some Fresno chilies and you could even add like a little spritz of lime that might be really nice I didn't, but you totally can. And as a finishing touch, I'm just going to sprinkle some togarashi seasoning. And boom, there you have it. A really nice, delicious, easy soup that happens to be vegan. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe. And hit it with a thumbs up, unless you hated this video. And then just go ahead and hit it with a thumbs down. Either way, um... Leave your comments below and tag me on Instagram if you decide to make this at Awkward in the Kitchen. Alright guys, take care. Bye.